flies or something. Oh, there's a rabbit running right over there. Ah, uh, poor cute little rabbit. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Do you guys remember I was shooting this uh, K6 Russian helmet? Well, I got ripped off. The, the helmet was a replica and a lot of people said it and uh, I kind of knew it. The front glass was plastic, main body was some sort of a plastic also. Anyway, so I went home and I thought about it and I was like, you know what? If Tony Stark can make a, a bulletproof helmet in a cave, so can I. So I copied Tony Stark and I made my own version of Iron Man level 7 50 cal rated bulletproof helmet. Whatever you want to call it. It's a Frankenstein helmet. My friend Rigo helped me weld this together. The front, uh, here's the cool thing, Jasper, give me a little close up. The front is a bulletproof uh, viewfinder out of a German tank. It's about, uh, it's about three inches thick. So it's really, as you can see it more from this side, Jasper, give me a close up on this side here. So you can see the glass. I took random different kind of metals. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is a little bit on the heavy side, but it's also way better than the other uh, bomb suit helmet that we had, and uh, that thing didn't stop nothing. So this will probably stop a lot of different rounds. I'm only gonna test f a few different ones, but it's mainly uh, rated for 50 BMG, 50 caliber. I'm gonna see if it can stop it. I think it can, but we'll find out. First, let me just hit it with some 9mm just for fun. Let's tickle it a little bit. Just better go back. That's cool, right? Yes. You want to do the 9mm? Uh, why not? Take a couple of shots, I'll give you the easy one. <laughs> oh, he's using an FN 509. Yes. 509 tactical. I brought the FN SCAR 17, so I figured let's match him. Okay, go. Ready? Uh, try not to hit the glass. Okay. If you can. Ah, cabron! What? I missed a couple of times, right? I don't know. And I told you don't hit the glass and you hit the glass. Good job. Oh. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Let's go check it out. <gasps> oh, a couple center shots over there. That's not bad. What are these flight things that are flying all over me? Okay, he hit a couple times here. Nothing happened, it just messed up the paint and uh, obviously he hit the glass and look, it just shattered a tiny bit of the first layer. Nothing happened. Well, at least you left me some room on the left. This is still viewable. If you're wearing this helmet, you can still see through it. I can see Mr. Gonzalez right in there and that's it. Okay, Jasper, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go SCAR 17, hit it on the top, see what happens. Okay, next I'm gonna do the SCAR 17 and uh, shoot the 762 by 51. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. Okay, vamanos. I hit it, right? Yes. I hit it on top. On the top, yeah. Twice. <laughs> right? <laughs> The yeah. guy's dead. <laughs> okay, here's what happened. We shot, we shot it. Um, I forgot to armor this area. <laughs> Went well, right in the center and the guy's dead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back and uh, add an extra layer over here of metal. But, uh, <laughs> went right in the first layer. This, this uh, first outside part, it's still from the old previous um, visor. So, it's just a tiny little bit of a sheet metal. So, that went right through. So, we're not gonna count that. We're gonna pretend we didn't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pretend you hit on the top, which I did. It scraped up, went right on the top. It's angled also a little bit. So, that's better. You want to show this area here? So, it went in, it, it scratched it, and just flew off. It did not penetrate the top part. You ready for me to hit a 50 BMG? 
You think it's gonna stop? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit it with the 50 BMG. If it hits the armor part, it might stop it. Okay. Next, we're doing uh, what it's rated for, <laughs> the 50 BMG. I'm using a Serbu BFG 50A from Serbu Firearms. And I'm gonna use the silver tip. This is the armor piercing incendiary. That's where you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Ah. That goes in there like that. Okay, just where you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. Everything looks good. That's ready. Yes. You ready for this? I'm ready. Safety off. Fire in a hole. <laughs> it broke it in two pieces. <laughs> okay, maybe it didn't stop. I don't know. Let's go check. Nope, <laughs> my helmet didn't work. <laughs> ah, <cabrón>. <laughs> oh. Yeah, don't, don't stop. Hmm. Okay, so that didn't work. The bullet went right in, right yeah. over here. And that's uh, some AR-500 steel. It managed to go right through it. That didn't work. Let me hit it one more time like this. Just very just curious. Okay. Okay. Like that. Let me see what happens. Okay. One more army piercing incendiary. That's very ready. I'm ready. Did I miss? See, si, yes. Ah. Too close. Okay. <laughs> Cabron, go right through. You, I can see the hole. Right in the, you hit right in the middle. You see? Yeah. Big go. Man. Okay, this didn't work. But it stopped the 308 and the nine millimeter. And the nine millimeter, 308 is a large caliber, <laughs> so it's uh, rated for um, 22, 22 <laughs> nine millimeter <laughs> and 308. <laughs> uh, let's shoot the glass. Let's see what happens if we shoot the glass. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna call this. This is gonna be a level three bulletproof helmet. It can stop rifle rounds, so it's good. A little on the heavy side, but even the glass is gonna stop probably the 308. So I'm gonna go uh, 308 on it, on the glass. That 50 BMG is gonna go through that probably. So let's see what happens to uh, high caliber rifles. It stopped the 308. Just maybe you want to bring a little closer. You can see the different layers in the glass. It did not go through the glass, so the glass was good. My grandpa brought this uh, bulletproof glass from one of his uh, World War II tanks out of Germany. I hope he doesn't see this video. Look, the glass is fine. Nothing came out from the back. So the glass is good, and if you get hit on the top, you're good with the 308. It just curves off. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take the... That thing is good for slingshots. 
No, cabrón, what do you mean? It stopped, the, it stopped in a bunch of rounds of 9mm. Oh, okay, okay. The 308, I bet you it would have stopped an AK round. I yeah. don't have the AK round with me right now, but it would have stopped it. But look, it curved off the first 308 we shot, right yeah. on the top. Zoom in here real quick. On that one. Cabrón, the gun is loaded. No, it's empty. What, the gun? Oh, no, the, yeah, yeah, it's, oh, no, okay, it's too, yeah. See? Okay. Okay. The 308 did curve off out of the glass and come out from the top. See that? It's messed up. Here? Yes. Okay, we tried. Uh, it was uh, halfway successful. Way better than the original uh, K6 Russian helmet. Let me work on it some more. I'll come back with the better version of this. Okay, just buddy? Okay, okay. That's it. For now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.